Hallelujah. Launching out into the deep. Hallelujah. Come on. Wasn't that a profound word? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the word. Hallelujah. Come on. Launch out into the deep to, um, to move forward. Hallelujah. Come on. Thrust. Hallelujah. Moving forward. Hallelujah. That was um, that was so profound. And um, I pray you guys got understanding from that. Hallelujah. Um, first and foremost, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. Giving honor to our apostolic bishop, the bishop of this house, Dr. Anya Hall. Giving honor to the clergy, um, members, guests, um, and visitors to each of you in their respective places. Um, today, I will be talking about um, supernatural strategies. And I, I must say, um, I am a football coach, so sometimes I get a little animated, so I might put this down. And use my hand so you can get the whole message, okay? Um, so, so just bear with me, um, bear with me. Hallelujah. Um, I too will um, allow you to be seated um, because, like she said, we will be reading a lot of scriptures today. So, um, I don't want you to get weary. Hallelujah. Thank you. Um, if you would turn with me to Genesis 19th, the 19th chapter and 17th verse. Genesis, the 19th chapter and the 17th verse. We're going to begin there, but we're going to skip around a little bit. Once again, that is Genesis, the 19th chapter and the 17th verse. Please say amen. 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 Once again, Genesis 19 chapter in the 17th verse, and it says, And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither thou in the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thee be consumed. Skipping down to verse 23 through 26. And when you have it, please say amen. It says, the sun was risen upon the earth, and Lot entered into Zor. Then the Lord rained, at, rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all in the plain, and all the inhabitants of the city, and all which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back. But his wife looked back from behind him, uh -huh. and she became a pillar of salt. <laughs> Hallelujah. For your meditation and application, looking ahead, because looking back is costly. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Now, when, when I begin to dig out this word and search it out, I, I wanted to harp on two things. One, um, one, the word look, and when you look up the word look, you find out that the Hebrew word for look is nabat, or now that. And this means not only to look, but to look upon intently um, by implication to regard with pleasure, favor, or care. Now, now let me give you a little backdrop story of this. Um, in the beginning of Genesis 19, it says that the Lord sent two angels, two angels to Sodom, and Lot saw the angels, and he met them. He ran out to meet them, and he said, um, please come in, come into my house, you know, because he knew where he was, hallelujah. Um, he knew where he was, and he entreated them into his house, and they said, no, you know, we will, we will stay out here, and we will do what we came to do, which is destroy the city, hallelujah. And, and he pulled on them a little bit more, and he said, no, no, please come in. And after a while, you know, um, they said, yes, I will come in. And then the city, it says the city fell upon the house. And the, the city fell upon the house. And um, they, they said, those men that came in, those men that came in and they, they wanted to, um, I guess, know the men. The Bible said they wanted to know the men. And Lot said, no, no, no. You know not what you do. Leave, leave my house. Leave these people alone. These are people of God. Um, you know, knowing what the angels had already come to do, and you obviously don't want to get the angels mad when they already been sent to destroy it. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so 
So move, moving right ahead, looking on um, when I looked up the word look and I saw that it that it meant to um, regard with pleasure, I, I thought to myself, now if, if I was in that situation, if I was in that situation and I knew that I had lived in a uh, uh, place of turmoil all this time and God had given me a word to go to, to get out of that land, why would I look back and not only look back, but I look back with pleasure mm. uh, on that land. I regard it with pleasure on that land, favor or care. It also says to behold, consider, to look, regard, to have respect. Have respect for the land? The obscure place that God was trying to bring me out of to send me into my place of um, destiny, the place where I want to be, the place where, um, you know, the land flowing with milk and honey, hallelujah. Um, I, why, why would I begin to look back? And then I looked up the second word, and um, the second word I wanted to harp on today was consume. And the word consume means, in the Hebrew, once again, is safa, and it means um, to properly to scrape, um, to to scatter, remove, or ruin, um, intrinsically to perish. Hallelujah! To consume, destroy, to heat, join, perish. Um, so, so in verse seventeen, it says, it says specifically. Look not behind thee. So why, if God has already told me to not look behind me, you know, to not show favor to, to the, the place of obscurity, why would I begin to look when I know that he also says, I will be consumed, I will perish, I will, hallelujah, um, hallelujah, I will, um, I will scatter, remove, and ruin. Hallelujah. So when I was when I was thinking about this, I put it all together, and I I, I just wanted to say, um, my question to you today is is why are you looking back? You know, uh, do you believe God not to be a provider? Is there something that you wish to obtain um, from that past life that you believe God cannot provide for you um, in the future? Um, is there something in the past that you believe can help you? Uh, or do something that God is not able to do. Huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, well, well, let me help you. <laughs> yeah, well, let, let me help you. Um, God, is, God is challenging your faith in this place. He wants you to move and not look back. Because where um, when you look back, you are committing an act of self-sabotage mm -hmm. because you are not when when you move forward, when you move right, forward, <laughs> when when you move forward, God is saying move forward. Soon as soon as I look back, I have taken my eye off the prize and I it began to come confused. Correct? Yeah. Hallelujah. So God is saying move forward, have faith in me, and I will supply all your needs. And as soon as you look away, Hallelujah. You um, are distracted and you cannot follow the path that God has set out for you already. Um, one of my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures is um, Philippians three thirteen and fourteen, and I'm gonna read it to you because it's a familiar um, scripture. And it says, "But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me, but reaching for those things which are before, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus." Which means I'm those things behind me. Forget about it. forget about them. The place where I'm going, the place where I want to be in God. Mm -hmm. um, he has so much more for me, and and those things, if, if God meant for them to be with me, He will provide them on the way. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I must keep. So I must keep looking forward and looking ahead. Hallelujah. Um, now, now come on, say. Looking, look ahead. Look ahead. Come on, look ahead to God. Hallelujah. Look ahead to God. Um, only He can help you. Hallelujah. Only God can turn your past mistakes into future successes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only God can cause your enemies to now become your footstool. Hallelujah. So look ahead to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says it like this in um, 1 Corinthians 1, 27. It says, but God used the foolish thing to confound the wise. Hallelujah. Meaning that all I have to
to do is look ahead. All I have to do is look ahead. When I begin to move ahead, hallelujah, God will take those things that I thought I lost and left behind me, hallelujah, God will bring them to the forefront and will use them to conf um, confuse and confound the wise, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. He, um, so... In, in my in my closing, what to say hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. Um, so, <clears throat> hallelujah. So so when I hear God, you know, begin to say, um, when I hear God begin to speak, hallelujah. All I have to do is begin to follow Him, hallelujah. Looking ahead and not behind, hallelujah. For I know that. The, the prize or the goal is ahead of me and not behind me. Hallelujah. So and next time, you know, you hear God and God says, hey, you know, um, I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Stop trying to second guess God. Come on, Hallelujah. Man. And just follow him. Look ahead and don't look behind. Hallelujah. Um, because I cannot continue to look back. Hallelujah. But I must look ahead. Because looking ahead, because looking behind, hallelujah, rather, is costly, hallelujah. Say it, I must look ahead. I must look ahead. Because looking back is costly. Because looking back is costly.